Some see a student athlete working on a shot. We see a powerful lesson in persistence. Some see a student preparing for success on an exam. We see a student athlete preparing for success in life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. Some see a student athlete working hard in the weight room. We see a future leader learning there are no shortcuts to success. Some see a start to a swim meet. We see the starting blocks for life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one car, two bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with a two car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Emma and Jake's just baby-proof their two-bedroom bungalow to prepare for baby number one insurance. We're good at Madeline and Chance's just gave in and became minivan people to make room for baby number two insurance. And we're good at Gabby and Nate's just moved to a house with a bigger backyard to welcome fur baby number three insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Some see a student athlete working on a shot. 
we see a powerful lesson in persistence. Some see a student preparing for success on an exam. We see a student athlete preparing for success in life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. Some see a student athlete working hard in the weight room. We see a future leader learning there are no shortcuts to success. Some see a start to a swim meet. We see the starting blocks for life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one-car, two-bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with a two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Emma and Jake's just baby-proof their two-bedroom bungalow to prepare for baby number one insurance. We're good at Madeline and Chance's just gave in and became minivan people to make room for baby number two insurance. And we're good at Gabby and Nate's just moved to a house with a bigger backyard to welcome fur baby number three insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Number four. 
four, Taylor and Tyler. Number 22, Emerson Kroll. Number 23, Kirsten McCreary. Number 30, Brielle Poucher. And number 40, Olivia Frost. The JV Warriors are coached by Trent Beard. Tonight's officials are Trent Marsh and Brian Barger.
the four time. Her first, team first. Amber's on the line shooting two. First is good. Good for Reesecker. Well, she found number four, Tom. Her second, team second. In for the Warriors, number 14, Maya Elliott. And number 32, Jocelyn Deschatal. Reesecker on the line, shooting one.
for the Ravens, number 20, Raven Huss. And number 30, Zoe Gator. For the Warriors, number 4, Taylor Town. 23, Kirsten McCreary. And number 40, Olivia Frost.
hell in the right soon too.
free for us. Washington number 14, Ellie. Her second, team fourth.
second was good.
first foul number 24, Ambers. Her first, team first. Kroll at the line shooting two. Checking in for the Warriors, number 14, Maya Elliott. Check in for the Raiders, number 10, Andy Miller. Number 40, Taylor Heflin. And number 44, Janelle Lee. Northridge foul number 44, Lee. Her first, team second. Kroll at the line shooting two. First to <laughs> Checking in for the Warriors, number four, Taylor Tom. Three for Yoda.
wives. And for the Warriors, number 12, Kenley Fisher. for Wallace Lady Warrior Basketball on YouTube at CPG TV in the IHSAA Champions Network. The Lady Warriors will host Northwest. This is broadcast and brought to you by Air Good Electric, Dynamic Spine and Rehab Center, Ghost and Home Medical, Northern Lake Realty, Wallace Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, Northern Lakes Insurance, Sox Marina, Chubby's Pub and Grub, Beyond Landscaping, Blue Barn Berry Farm and Event Venue and Farmhouse Kitchen and Catering, Quality Engineered Services, Brick Point Resort, Maverick Promotions, KNB Detailing, Collective Media Production Company LLC, and Scott Gingrich with the Gingrich Real Estate Group. To the Hardwood CP at Wallace High School. With the call, here's Coach John Everingham and Jack Bear. Where tonight's game against, will be against your Lady Warriors and the Northridge Lady Raiders. Tonight on our pregame show, we'll hear from Coach Gil Reith. Coach Jack Beer and I will talk about the game tonight. We should have a good one on our hands with two teams that have very good records. Uh, let's first take our first break, and we'll come back and hear from Coach Gilreath. We'll be right back with more Lady Warrior basketball on CPG TV and the IHSA Champions Network. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Air Good Electric and Ligonier, offering electrical services for any project, including in-home, outdoor, new construction, or remodel. Air Good Electric at 1246 Lincoln Way South in Ligonier, 210-336-0500. 
260-894-3842. Wallace C. Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Dynamics Fine and Rehab Center, 106 East Pickwick Drive in Syracuse. Offering chiropractic, acupuncture, and rehab services that will get you back into the game. Dynamic Spine and Rehab Center, east of Dairy Queen in Syracuse. 574-457-7472 and online at dynamicspinesyracuse.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Goshen Home Medical. Offering CPAPs, respiratory supplies, and a full line of medical equipment with delivery for over 40 years. Goshen Home Medical at 1501 South Main Street in Goshen, 574-533-0626 and online at goshenhomemedical.com. Hi, this is Vince Beasley. Wallace C. Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Northern Lakes Realty. We are a full-service realty company helping you buy and sell homes, as well as assisting you in any other real estate needs. Northern Lakes Realty has a hometown realty team ready to serve you. We are located across from Pickwick Theater in Uptown Syracuse, 574-457-2880 or online at nlrealtyllc.com. Wallace C. Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Wallace Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling in Syracuse. They can help the residential or commercial customer with in-floor heat system, high-efficiency tankless water heaters, and well and septic services. Wallace Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling in Syracuse, 574-457-9313, and online at wallacephc.com. Wallace C. Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Northern Lakes Insurance in Syracuse. Offering a wide variety of consumer and business insurance with group health plans. Northern Lakes Insurance, behind McDonald's at 201 East Palm Drive in Syracuse. 574-457-5931 and online at northernlakesinsurance.com. Now back to Wawasi Warrior Basketball on CPG TV and the IHSAA Champions Network. Welcome back to Wawasi High School and the Hardwood TP. Tonight's game is against your Lady Warriors versus your Northridge Lady Raiders. And tonight, uh, during the pregame, uh, Zach Bowen, student Zach Bowen, had a chance to talk to Coach Gilreath about tonight's game. Let's take a listen in. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Zach Bowen. With me is head coach Derek Gillery to the Wabasee Lady Warrior basketball team. Coach, how are you tonight? I'm good. Coach, last game you took down Elkhart Christian Academy 51-18. So can you tell us how that game went from your perspective? Um, I felt like we started out a little bit flat. Um, we had four turnovers on our first four possessions. But then once we kind of settled in a little bit, um, we – picked up the defensive intensity and that kind of helped get us going. Um, I really liked the way we finished, you know, the last three and a half quarters of the ball game. Um, our, like I said, our defensive intensity was really good. I thought we worked the ball well on offense, didn't settle for a lot of outside shots. We did a really nice job attacking the middle of the zone, which hasn't been a strong point of ours. So it was really nice to see the girls, you know, execute on both ends of the floor. Coach, tonight is kind of your first test of the season. You're taking on Northridge. They also have one loss on the season. So what things do you look out for in the Raiders? Um, for them, they're really the first team that we've played this year that can kind of match us athletically and physicality-wise. So that'll be, you know, like you said, a, our first real test to kind of see where we're at as a team, um, especially as we get into NLC play moving forward and um, we still have you know I think seven teams on our schedule that are either ranked in their respective class or at least getting votes to be ranked so it, it'll be nice for us to kind of see where we're at and what things we need to improve upon um, it's been a long time since Wallace he's beaten Northridge so that's one thing we want to do is you know kind of make a little bit of a statement we know that's easier said than done but they, you know, they got shooters everywhere. They drive to the basket hard. They're relentless on the boards. And rebounding has been a struggle for us. So I'm curious to see how, how the girls respond to, you know, the, the high-quality opponent. 
So what are the keys to taking down Northridge tonight? Um, like I said, for us, we got to be able to rebound the basketball. That's been not, you know, one of the things that we've been, I would say, weakest at as a team this season. Um, and Northridge, like I said, is relentless on the glass, so we need to make sure we rebound the ball. Uh, we also need to continue our defensive pressure. You know, we can't back away just because we're playing a higher quality opponent. We still need to do what we do on the defensive side of the floor and turn our defense into offense a little bit and then um, taking care of the basketball. Like I said, they're a very physical team and a little more athletic in spots than some teams we've played, so we can't be careless with our passes. we got to take care of the ball. All right, well, thanks, Coach, and good luck tonight. Thank you. We'll be back for later. OLC Warrior Basketball is powered by Sox Marina, servicing all the area lakes for over 60 years. Offering Viaggio and Trifecta pontoons or Polar Craft fishing boats. All powered by Mercury and Tohatsu outboards. And a line of Excel hunting boats powered by Mud Buddy surface drive motors. Sox Marina on Webster and Barbie Lakes or online at SoxMarina.com. OSC Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Chubby's Pub and Grub in Syracuse. Offering a full menu, including daily lunch and dinner specials, with a family room. Chubby's Pub and Grub at 1201 South Huntington Street in Syracuse, 574-457-3855. Wallace Sea Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Beyond Landscaping in Milford. Offering landscaping design services, construction for residential, commercial, and lake properties. That includes stonework, masonry, live wall and water features. Beyond Landscaping at 2983 East Bowser Road in Milford, 574-527-7973 and online at beyondlandscaping.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Blue Barn Berry Farm and event venue in Syracuse. Offering an indoor-outdoor lakeside pavilion for up to 220 guests. In season, blueberry and blackberry fields, and country market for fresh local produce, pantry items, and sweet treats. Their newest venue, Farmhouse, is a great spot for private events for up to 70 guests and is a full-time catering provider all across northern Indiana. Blue Barn Berry Farm and Event Venue at 9139 North 300 East in Syracuse, 574-742-2247 and online at bluebarnberryfarm.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Quality Engineered Services in Syracuse. Manufacturing dash assemblies and wiring harnesses, primarily supporting OEM boat manufacturers and other products including marine, bus, automotive, and more since 2017. Quality Engineered Services at 1101 North Indiana Avenue in Syracuse, 574-457. 3988 and online at theqes.com. Now back to Wawa C Warrior Basketball on CPG TV and the IHSAA Champions Network. Welcome back to the Hardwood TP. I'm John Everingham, joined tonight by Jack Beer. Coach Jack Beer, coach, you had a chance to talk to Coach Springer. Let's first cover the Northridge. Raiders, they are 9-1 and one on the season. They're ranked 13th in Class 4A, uh, to say the least. Uh, this is the best team that we've seen this year. Yeah, by far, it's possibly the best team, probably next to Columbia City, possibly Warsaw, that they'll see all year. And talking to Coach Springer, I mean, this is his 17th year um, at Northridge, and he has... He has it going. I mean, he has a great program going. The clear down fifth, fourth, fifth grade. They all run the same thing, same defense and so forth. They uh, have five girls uh, averaging seven points or yep. better. Um, I asked him, you know, what he liked about his team. They, they got a nice mix of seniors, juniors, some freshmen, a few sophomores. So they got a, a really uh, diversified uh, uh, roster and he said the chemistry has been great for him. He, he really thinks that's a, um, a strong point. Uh, Cross and Goodwin, uh, Cross being a senior, Goodwin a junior, have really stepped up. Cross their leading rebounder, leading scorer. 
Uh, she's their senior leader, and uh, they they got three seniors that play a lot. Yeah. Lot, and so they'll be a lot more experienced than uh, some of the teams we've been playing. Uh, they'll switch everything on defense. They'll be very aggressive. Uh, one concern he has is they do turn the ball over too much for this point of the year. They had 21 in their last game, so but they still won by 20. And uh, so our pressure, you know, hopefully will cause them some problems and we can take advantage of their turnovers. Yeah, last year Northridge came out victorious. I believe that was 65 to 37. Obviously, both teams a little bit different, but I did notice three seniors starting for them, two uh, two juniors in their starting lineup. Again, something that we've seen some younger teams come in here that we've handled pretty handily. Uh, but I was talking to a Northridge fan, and I asked him who's their who's Northridge's best player, and he said, "I don't know who their best player is." So it sounds to me like they're going to be very deep. Uh, well-balanced basketball team. Sounds like they may press us quite a bit. And physical nature of play, rebounding. You know, the things that make a really good team, and I'm not sure what coach in the state of Indiana is going to say that they need to cut down on turnovers. You know, that right. they, they turn the ball over too much. So, But that is something to, to maybe keep an eye on. Uh, when you look at our Wawa Sea Warriors, it seems like we're, we're still developing just a little bit. we got a couple players back from injury. Molly Beer is back. Uh, but we've had... Uh, the one of the best starts that we've had in, in program history, uh, at least in the last 15 years. And uh, so what do you think the Warriors need to do tonight to stay competitive in this game? Well, I mean, they are going to have to turn uh, Northridge over. Northridge is probably the most, well, is the most fundamental team that we've played up to this point. So uh, getting them to turn it over will be a key. And then once we do turn it over, we have to hit our shots. Um, we have to improve on our free throw shooting. We have to hit the shots that we get. Uh, and we're going to have to limit our turnovers also because they, they'll be the most physical team also that we've played up to this yeah. point. I noticed just to kind of run uh, run through for the viewers, just the Northridge schedule. We talked about it off air a little bit, but four eight teams like Chesterton, Homestead, Merrillville, Crown Point, Carroll, and then three A teams, uh, powerhouses. You know, Norwell is traditionally very, very good. They beat them, and Fairfield they handled them, uh, thirty-eight to twenty-five. So they've had not only are they a good basketball team with a good record, uh, their schedule has been probably one of the top in Northern Indiana. You know, in terms of the the, the quality of opponents that they face. Well, and I uh, the only loss they have is to Homestead. Uh, that was like five, six points. I did watch that game. Uh, and Northridge had every opportunity to win it. It was their second game of the year. Uh, they had a lot of turnovers, but they missed a ton of shots underneath that they won't miss. Yeah. And uh, so, like Coach Springer said, he said it's not bad to lose a game if you learn from it, and he thinks they have learned from that game. So we do have a tough one tonight with the 13th ranked Northridge Lady Raiders in town. Uh, we'll be right back uh, as we talk about uh, the starting lineups, the keys to the game. Uh, we, we have about four minutes to tip off. We'll be right back with more Lady Warrior basketball on CPG TV and the IHSA Champions Network. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Brook Point Resort in Syracuse, offering a family escape getaway, featuring a family suite which sleeps up to seven people, indoor heated saltwater pool, outdoor family cove activities, board games, pizza and pop for the first night. Brook Point Resort, just west of Burger King on Bowser Road in Syracuse, 574-457-4466 and online at brookpointresort.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Maverick Promotions in North Webster, offering name brand wearables including hats, t-shirts, polos, jackets, custom embroidery, screen printing, and promotional products since 2002. Maverick Promotions at 611 South Main Street in North Webster, 574-834-4733 and online at maverickpromos.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by K&B Detailing in Syracuse, offering complete interior, exterior, and ceramic detailing services for cars and trucks. K&B Detailing at 4381 McGill Court in Syracuse, 
265-7278 and on Facebook. Wawa Sea Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Collective Media Production Company, LLC, in Etna Green. Offering live streaming, video recording, corporate, business, and non-for-profit promotional videos, and custom editing. They can also take pictures, negatives, slides, Polaroids, 8mm film, and VHS tapes and convert it to a digital format. Collective Media Production Company, LLC, on the web at cmpcollc.com or 574 2 Two seven zero five zero five. Wawa Warrior Basketball on ninety three point seven FM The Mix and CPG TV is brought to you in part by Scott Gingrich with the Gingrich Group Realty in Milford. We are a full service realty company, including property management services in Kosciuszko and surrounding counties. Our goal is to be a trusted advisor for you before, during, and after your transaction. Scott Gingrich with the Gingrich Group here to help make your home dreams happen. Located downtown Milford at 120 South Main Street or online at thegingrichgroup.com. Now back to Wawa Sea Warrior Basketball on CPG TV and the IHSAA Champions Network. Are we on? Okay, we are on. I think I just spilled every credit card I have in my wallet on the floor. Sorry about that, but we are back here. At the Hardwood Teepee, we're just about a minute away from uh, tip-off here. Let's go over some of the starting lineups and the keys to the game. Uh, we have uh, for Northridge, and, and you mentioned talking to uh, Coach Springer, he, he talked about limiting turnovers, making sure that uh, he doesn't give uh, Wawasee extra possessions, uh, really focused on the pace of play. And I'm assuming that that means that they're going to try to create more possessions uh, through turnovers and pressing and, and then rebounding the basketball. So um, I always think that it comes down to possession basketball. If you can get more offensive rebounds and you have less turnovers than the other team, you got a pretty good chance of scoring more points. So we're just about 10 seconds from uh, tip-off here or the national anthem. We'll go ahead and pause as the national anthem plays. All right, we're getting ready for the starting lineups. Just a little shout-out to Tony Palicki and the pep band. Well, I don't know how many students we got in the pep band over there, but I'm guessing probably 50 uh, students, and they do a really nice job, including the cheerleaders, of adding to the atmosphere of the home games for both the boys and the girls. Um, I'm telling you, I'm watching, uh, during the national anthem, I'm just looking down. Uh, Northridge certainly passes the eye test. They look like veteran, bigger stronger athletic uh, team in terms of the teams that we've seen come in here. Yeah, just about every one of their girls play a lot of AU ball. Yeah. And uh, like I said, he has the system in from uh, elementary clear up to the varsity. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for your Northridge, excuse me, not your Northridge Raiders, but the opposing team, the Northridge Raiders. First of all, 
Starting at guard will be number 10, Morgan Cross. Starting at the shooting guard position will be number 12, Sabrina Miller. At the point guard position will be Rylan Goodwin. At the post position will be number 22, Gabby Gates. And another shooting guard will be junior Ella Mohammed. And for your Wawasee Warriors will be the normal starting lineup that we've had all season long will be uh, 5'2", junior Lucy Wilkinson, 5'8", junior Mackenzie Hackleman, 5'3", senior Caden Shepard, 5'9", junior Ava Couture, and rounding out the starting lineup for your Wawasee Warriors will be 5'9", junior Olivia Horn. Any final thoughts before we get started here, Coach? Well, one thing you're going to see, uh, Northridge offensively, uh, they'll do a lot of back doors. They'll be patient on the half court. They'll run when they get a chance, but they'll be patient on the half court. Um, but they will run a lot of back doors, and uh, they do run some lob plays. But you're going to see every one of their girls are going to be able to pass the ball, dribble the ball, and shoot the ball. And that's one thing that makes them so hard to guard is that you can't slack off of anybody because uh, they can all hurt you. I've been pretty fortunate uh, uh, to see some upsets uh, in my coaching career and assistant coaching career. But a lot of times those upsets stem from taking care of the basketball, playing good, solid defense, rebounding the basketball, and then, of course, what makes every coach look good is the, when the ball goes through the hoop. Right. You can make some shots and do those other three things. Um, so keep an eye on our turnovers, our rebounding, and then our ability to put the ball in the basket. We probably need to make some shots that, that we don't normally don't make. We've struggled from the line and three a little bit. We probably need to make some shots tonight. Correct. Yep, we can't miss any that uh, are gimmies. Okay, here's the tip, and Northridge will gain control. That will be the guard, Morgan Cross, with the ball. Takes it to the right wing. That'll be Miller. Cross there, penetrates in. He's going to throw up nothing there. That'll be a missed shot. Good de defense by Caden Shepard. That driving kick was actually open, but uh, Goodwin decided to try to take it in there. Here's a full-court press by Northridge. That'll be a center fielder. Deny there, and it's going to be inbound. It's going to be the first turnover of the game. Kicks it over to... Uh, outside is going to be passed up. Good patience there. It's going to be 24. It's going to be off the mark. Lucy's going to grab that rebound. Looks like it's going to be a jump ball. That will be Wawasee Warrior basketball. Yeah, number 14, uh, Riley Goodwin. Coach had said that she has a very high basketball IQ. So we'll look for her, you know, to take control. Probably won't have many turnovers. Northridge is pressing a little bit. Yep, they are trapping. Ball with C breaks the pressure there. Going to look inside to Hackleman. It's going to be nothing there. Ball squirted around. It's going to be another jump ball. It's going to be Northridge basketball. 7-21. Score still remains. 0-0. Zero to zero. Ball with C will press here against Northridge. I'm sure they're... Uh, I'll tell you what, when you get into NLC season, you're not surprising anybody with much. No. They've seen each other play. And Northridge breaks that press easily. He's going to get there a layup on, on the other end. That's yep. going to be Cross with the bucket there. And Northridge pressing gets it into Shepard. It's going to be tipped away by Mohammed. You know, whether we get a steal or not on the press, we have to slow them down. We can't let them pass their way through it and get layups. That's going to be Lucy getting the inbounds pass. It's going to be reversed over to Hackleman. She'll be able to come up. Go. She's going to attack. She's going to go right to the basket here. It's going to be up and no good. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be Northridge basketball. Those are the bunnies that we really need to yep. finish there. Yep. Yeah, we got to go in strong and at the very least get a foul out of it. Mohammed's going to inbound the ball. Wall with C pressing here. They're, they are going to get it in. That's going to be to Goodwin. Goodwin's going to look back, reverse the basketball. Good patience by Northridge. And that's going to be Miller with the ball. Reverses it around, across, back to Miller. This is Goodwin, their point guard, looking to the high post. Goodwin's going to take it inside, kick it out. Driving to the basket will be Miller. She's going to put it up, no good. Good box out by yep. Shepard. Shepard's going to get that ball. It's going to oh, be another, be tied another up. jump ball. It'll be Wallacey ball. 
That's three jump balls in the first uh, minute and a half of the game. Two of those jump balls have been Wallace C. basketball. Inbounded to Lucy easily. Reversed to Hackelman. Up to Couture. Back to Lucy. Lucy's going to look to get it over the timeline. She does. Dribble handoff to Horn. It's really, we haven't seen our man offense a whole lot this year. The home games have been almost all uh, against the zone. Going to reverse around. Hackelman's going to look for three. Going to drive in. Kick. Nice kick. One extra pass. Couture for three is going to be off the mark. And it's going to be rebounded there by Mohammed. Quickly up the floor. It's going to be easy. Two points yep. there by Gates. Boy, they, t- they leaked out two girls. Yep. Yeah, they, they see the floor extremely well. Inbounds to Lukey, Lucy Wilkinson. Lucy's like going to go in. She's going to drive in. Easily breaks the press there. Wallace handling the ball pretty good. We've had two good looks at the basket and didn't convert there. And we're going to be patient. We've looked inside. Lucy's going to shoot a three. It's going to be up off the mark. Horn's going to get that rebound. and going to go up with her left hand. It's going to be up and good. Uh, good job by Horn. Good offensive rebound there. Makes the score four to two. Raiders over the Warriors. And that's going to be tipped job. out of bounds. Sub into the game will be number 32, Cam Conley. She's a sophomore, 5'11 sophomore. Into the game for the Warriors, the Raiders for the first time. Raiders have the ball, going to drive it across the timeline, drive and kick out. It's going to be a three-point attempt. It's going to be off the mark. Oh, we got to come up with that. Uh, yep. And it's going to be Ken. Oh, missed layup there. Hackelman gets a strong rebound there. And Northridge right into their press. But Lucy's going to break that, no problem. It's going to drive up the court, back to Lucy, up and nice. in. It's going to tie the score at 4-4. Four to four. Good bucket, good movement by the Warriors. Quickly up the floor is going to be Northridge passing the ball. Nice. Again, another nice left. Oh. oh, missed off the mark and rebounded by Shepard. Northridge has given us a couple there, missed a couple buckets. Horn's going to drive inside, nothing doing there. Coulter with the basketball on the right wing. Top of the key, reverses all the way around. Again, Northridge in a man-to-man. Inside to Horn. Horn's going to go up with their left hand. It's going to be no good. Quickly with the rebound and up the floor is going to be down. It's going to be a foul on Hackleman. Boy, oh boy, they get the ball up the floor quickly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, if they like to get out and go, like I say, though, if, if we could slow them down, they will be patient on the offensive end. They'll work the ball for a good shot. I know this is an obvious statement, but the best way to keep another team from transition basketball is to put it through the basket so right. they have to take it out of bounds yeah. right we've missed a couple bunnies and so have they but uh they're out and running once they get that rebound okay we got some subs here did you catch those subs yeah taylor ball is one and uh sabrina miller came back in at the line morgan cross she made her first one. Second one is up and good hackleman taking the ball out of bounds Inbounds to Couture. Couture is going to look up and travel. He traveled, yep. I may have seen Lucy look over to the bench and kind of tug at her uh, jersey like she might have been a little tired. That's unlike her. Keep an eye on that. Perkins came in for Okay, this is going to be cross going inside. It's going to be another. Uh Uh-oh, uh-oh, yep. We I'll tell you what, out. Uh, these guys are from Fort Wayne, the officials, Yep. and they generally let you play. That's my yep. experience with these three officials, and you can see that right there. That yeah. easily could have been a foul, but I like the no call. It's still Northridge ball. Inbounds, Northridge with the basketball. It's going to be a fake drive there to the baseline. It's cross up top, reverses it all the way around. That's going to be Conley, 5'11", sophomore, drive and kick, baseline drive. Back out. It's going to be a three-pointer by Cross, I believe. Nice. It's going to be up and good. That is Riley Goodwin. Uh, excuse me. Goodwin for the three. Now, you see, they take the pressure back off. This yep. is a half-court 2-3. And the zone there. Shepard with the drive. It's going to be fouled. She's going to go to the line for two. Boy, that was different. Yeah, it is. Uh, and it, it'll be interesting. We didn't get a, really a chance to see, but... He uh, 
Uh, Coach Springer won't play very much zone. He might show zone and go back to a man-to-man or a matchup zone. First one up. by Shepard is up and no good. Northridge ahead of Wallace, 9-4. Shepard at the line. Is up and no good. Again, rebound to Northridge. Northridge is going to look up the floor quickly. This is uh, Goodwin with the ball. She's going to take it right to the basket. Up and no good. Gets her own rebound. Shovels it off. Back all the way around. Again, inside. Nice look on a pass. Up and good, finally, by Cross. Quickly inbounded. Northridge kind of takes some of the heat off here. It's going to be up by Hackleman. It's going to be off the mark. Rebounded by Conley. Conley quickly up. One pass. Two passes and going to be up and Ooh. going to stay Northridge basketball. Almost a little too unselfish for yeah. Northridge there. One pass, too many. But in their, on their offense, they do a lot of cutting, and they're great at hitting the cutter for easy baskets. We've got four across. Inbound is going to come to uh, Gates. We haven't called her name much, but yep. she's going to go in and lay it in. There's their post driving from the three-point line clear to the basket. Now we've got a full court. Looks like they're full court and maybe on makes. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they put pressure on us early. We broke it, and they kind of backed off the pressure just a little bit, which would be understandable here. McKinsey Hackleman for Need three it. is going to be up there and good. 13 to 7. It's going to be a big basket there. Coach and Springer's not happy with that. No, you can't let her get off there. But uh, let's go ahead and take a break. We'll be right back with more Lady Warrior basketball on CPG TV and I just say Champions Network. Yeah. No question. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Air Good. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Air Good Electric and Ligonier, offering electrical services for any project, including in home, outdoor, new construction, or remodel. Air Good Electric at 1246 Lincoln Way South in Ligonier, 260 894-3842. Now back to Wawa C Warrior Basketball on CPG TV and the IHSAA Champions Network. All right, we are back. 220 left in the first quarter. Northridge ahead of Wawa C 13 to 7. Northridge ball after a coach Springer timeout. And that's going to be inbounded to, uh, that's going to be Gates. He's going to go straight up the floor. Good pass underneath. Kicks it back Watch. out. Three-pointer up and no good by, uh, that's going to be off Northridge. Yep. Wall was the ball. That, that three was no good by 14. Well, that was 12, Sabrina Miller, uh, that missed the three. And that's one thing I was going to mention. She will shoot the three deep. She doesn't have to be on the three-point line to shoot it. Hackleman with the ball, top of the key. Again, Northridge in a man-to-man. Cut, Looks underneath to Lucy's wide oh. open bucket. We got to have yep. those. Those off the mark. Quickly up the floor. Northridge is going to quickly drive to the basket. Not there. Number 12 is driving. That's Miller. Kicks it out uh, to Conley. Conley for three is going to be off the mark. Going to be rebounded by Olivia Horn. And we get it over the timeline, just barely. Good job. Okay, here we go. Perkins is going to come, come off the ball screen. Northridge yep. is going to jump it there. That's going to be a foul. Yep. Not a terrible foul there. Perkins had trouble. They come out and jump that. Do they, do they normally do that? Yeah, they'll, they'll trap a lot. They'll out, trap the ball a lot out, up top and down in the uh, low corners. They just don't let you get uh, relaxed at all. Okay, here we go. Northridge with the basketball. Conley's going to reverse it around. That'll be Miller to Goodwin inside to Gates. Gates going to go up and it's going to be no good. Both teams missing some bunnies here. 
I guess that kind of evens out, but we wish we would make ours. Yes, exactly. Game would be really close here if we make our make our lips. In, uh, it's oh. going to be turned over by Horn. Shepard looking for a backdoor cut there. Might have been there. Stuckey and Couture is going to come in. That's five turnovers for all to see. Northridge is going to have the ball. That's going to be Miller handling the ball out top against the trap. Kicks it over to the left wing, back up top. Miller inside to Gates. Gates is going to look to go inside. Inside is going to be number 12. That She misses it. That's Miller with the missed shot. Couture gathers it. And off handoff to Perkins. Perkins off the ball screen again. Oh, is going to get turnover. it stolen again. And she's going to go up and A no miss. good. Another miss, and that yep. should be wall with yep. ball. Well, we are dodging yes. major bullets here. Yes, we're real fortunate to be at only six down. We hit ours, and we're even. Yep, and, and so you look at wall with 24 seconds to go. See if we can get one shot without letting them get another shot. Maybe we can make one and make it closer oh, here. But we throw turn it, it over. Right out of bounds. Those are turnovers you just can't have against a team of the caliber of no. Northridge. Either way, let's get a stop here. Yep. It's going to be Northridge holding for the last shot. And they're going to run America's play right up top. Is it going to be, look, student section Short. got her to, to shoot a quick one there. Lucy's going to come up. Two seconds. Shoot one it. second. It's going to uh, be up and two too late. late. Just too a late. second too late. That'll be 13-7, to seven, Northridge on top of Wawa C heading into the second quarter. We'll be right back with more Lady Warrior basketball on CPG TV and IHSA Champions Network. Wawa C Warrior basketball is brought to you in part by Dynamic Spine and Rehab Center, 106 East Pickwick Drive in Syracuse, offering chiropractic, acupuncture, and rehab services that will get you back into the game. Dynamic Spine and Rehab Center, east of Dairy Queen in Syracuse. 574-457-7472 and online at dynamicspinesyracuse.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Goshen Home Medical, offering CPAPs, respiratory supplies, and a full line of medical equipment with delivery for over 40 years. Goshen Home Medical at 1501 South Main Street in Goshen. 574-533-0626 and online at goshenhomemedical.com. Now back to Wawa C Warrior Basketball on CPG TV and the IHSAA Champions Network. Welcome back to the Hardwood TP. We are beginning the second quarter here. North Ridge Basketball inbounded is going to be Riley Goodwin. He, the, she is their point guard. Ball screen on the far side. Gates, nice set play out of a timeout. Good passing. And Horn's going to gather that basketball. She's coming up the floor quickly. She's going to look to take it in. Gets it down to the block. Is going to kick it back out to Wilkinson. Wilkinson looking to drive. Hand it off to Hackleman. Hackleman up and it's going to be good. Good bucket by McKenzie Hackleman. That's her second three of the game. It cuts the Warriors. Brings the Warriors to within three points. Well, we'll see with the half court. Looks like trap. Both teams are kind of taking off the pressure just a little bit. Northridge with the basketball. On the right wing will be Goodman. Up to Gates. He's their post player up top. She's going to set that ball screen. Looking to roll. Cross with the basketball. Off to Goodwin. Goodwin. To the right wing, again, another ball screen. Looking inside, reverses the basketball. Uh-oh, almost nearly turns it over. Good defense by the Warriors here. Cross has got the ball up top, down into the corner. Little flare screen, and it's gonna be inside. It's gonna be off the mark, rebounded by Wawa C. Wawa C within one possession here will have a chance to get this game tied or within one. Drive by Shepard. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Northridge, and it will remain Wawasee basketball. 
13 to 10, 626. Inbounds play is going to be over the top, out to Molly Beer, who just checked in the game. Molly's going to have some troubles out there. He's going to dribble it over to the right side. Back out. There's a trap. Tipped out of bounds. Boy, when you take it down to that corner, Northridge is going to look yep. to trap the basketball. They come from the blind side, and you don't know it's coming. It's going to be nice nearly steal. turned over, and it's going to be Horn going inside, and she's going to oh. miss that bunny. She's going to go up a second time. That's going to be blocked. Block. Horn gets it back again, and she's going to look to go up a third time. And, gets a foul. and she does get a foul there. That's pretty uh, good hustle there by Horn. She never gave up. Missed, it, missed a shot underneath, came right back, got the rebound, got fouled. Now let's hit some free throws. Horn at the line, shooting one. There first one of two, first one is good. Wallace C down two now, 13 to 11. Horn, second one is going to be up and go. good. Wallace C down one, 13 to 12. Start this quarter on a 5-0 run. That is what we wanted there. A little pressure the there. Going to be reversed down. Almost a travel by Northridge. Going to be kicked back out. They'll regain control. Sabrina Miller with the ball. Off the cross. Cross is going to take it down. Reverse wow. layup. That'll be good. Nice move by Goodwin. Goodwin gets the bucket. Wawasee brings it up the floor. That's going to be Wilkinson and Hackleman in the backcourt. Over to Lucy. Lucy's going to look to drive. Kicks it back to Horn. Horn up top. Good defense by Northridge. There's a trap. Lucy's going to dribble out of that trap. Right to the hole. Kicks it out to Shepard. We need this one. Yep. Oh, oh, in and in out. And no out. good. And Northridge is going to have the basketball quickly up the floor. And that's going to be a blocking foul. Two shots. We're lucky that didn't go yeah. in, too. Is that on Shepard? Oh, well, it's on Horn. Just her first. I'll tell you what, um, can't say enough about these officials. Do such a good job of letting the kids play a little bit, but not giving an advantage to the other team, you know? Right. So just let the kids play. We saw a game the other day where there were quite a few fouls where the referees were controlling the game. This has been a well-played game, well-officiated game. And here we are. Second one is going to be up and good by Cross. Just takes it to a five-point lead. Lucy's got the ball. She's going to bring it up the floor. There's a trap and a rotation. Now we got to attack, just like Hackleman's doing here. Oh, she uh, loses the basketball yep. and gives it right over to Northridge. It's going to be quickly up, and it's going to be up and good. Good transition basketball. Miller. Miller makes that basket there. Hackleman up the floor. Couture is going to drive the baseline. And look, I'll tell you, Northridge just gets a lot of deflections. They're they long. They're, they're all uh, long. They're all strong. And they rotate extremely well in defense. Well, we see inbounding the basketball. is going to be yeah, Couture up it. and there good. Go. Ava, nice pass by Hackleman. Yep. And that's 19 to 14. Northridge on top, quickly uh, up the floor. Another easy one. And that's going to be a foul on Hackleman. We had talked about that in previous games where we thought that pass over the top was open. Uh, but in all honesty, the other teams we played just didn't have good enough guards to throw it over the top. Northridge clearly is exposing that uh, and getting easy buckets at the other end. Right. Right. That is Morgan Cross. She's a 5'6 senior at the line. She makes the first one. 20 to 14, 428 left in the second quarter. Second one by Cross is up and good. Northridge shoots 66% on free throws, which is pretty good, and they're four for four now. We got the ball inbounds. Lucy's going to get the ball. They are going to trap. Oh, get to the middle, and now we got to attack. Oh, she, she did walk. Yep, she did. Just, just out of position, maybe three feet, three yep. feet closer in the middle. Probably would have done the trick. We might have even, you know, a lot of people don't understand it. Three feet would have equaled two points, you know, right. because if she catches that, there's nobody back. And, uh, unfortunately, we turn the ball over. She's trying to move before she caught the ball. 
Northridge with the basketball. Nice another little cut. slip screen. That's going to be oh, another foul. Hackleman, that'll be her second foul. Yep. That's good execution there. That's a nice yep. basketball 101 move there. A little slip screen. Uh, and that's Bates. That Northridge will slip screens, and then when they pass, they cut. And when they cut, they cut hard to the basket. This will be Gates at the line, yep. up one. Uh, first one up and no good. Checking in for the Warriors, number 14, Kylie Perkins. Gates, sh- Gates being a lefty, you don't know until you see her shoot because she uses both hands real yeah. well around the basket. Second one two. no good. There you jinxed him. You tell, him, tell yep. us how good the free throw shooting team they are. And Lucy bringing it up the floor. She's going to bring it right up the gut here to Horn. Horn's going to look to drive it. She's going to pull it back out. Good enough ball handler there. You got Perkins. Uh, is going to be foul wow. there on the right wing. You know, kind of a fortunate call for us there. I believe that's on Gates. Three fouls for the Warriors, two for the Raiders. Inbound to Olivia Horn. Back up to Lucy Wilkinson. Lucy's going to look to drive. Hands it off to Stuckey. They're going to jump her. Get it into uh, get it into Horn, but she's going to be another jump ball. That'll be Wallace ball still. Coach Gilreath wanted to foul on that. Basket was blocking my view. Hackleman is out to get a breather here. See where the scoring comes from. Quickly over to Shepard. Shepard's going to look to drive. It's tipped away. Recovered by Northridge. It's going to be up the floor. This will be Cross looking inside. Wow. Nice pass yep. to 42. That'll be freshman, 5'10 freshman Lily Scholl uh, that scores that basket. And fumbled around, but we Lucy gets it. Corrals it. 23-14. Wawasi down nine now. Lucy on the left wing. Kind of get herself. She's going to drive in. She's going to be blocked. It's going to be on the line. That's okay. I never mind when players go, go to the basket strong and they block it out of bounds. Who cares? It's still our ball. Exactly. Number 42, uh, Lily Scholl just scored at the other end. A freshman. She really blocked that? good looking. Did she block that? Yeah, she blocked it also. There she just gets a steal. And down the floor, and she's going to oh, lay it in at nice. the other end. What a... She gets a steal, passes ahead, yep. gets to the basket, and scores. What a sequence by the freshman yep. there. Very, very good. There's be a foul. foul. Yeah, that was a very nice sequence by the freshman. Is that her first time checking into the game tonight? Yeah, yeah, and I know uh, Coach... It's really high on her, yeah. which you can see why. Yeah. The Wallace <laughs> basketball, 25-14, 254 left in the second quarter. Hackleman comes back into the game. Be inbounded, kick there. Wallace still have the ball. One thing you'll notice about Coach Springer, he's very intense and he's very animated. Him and Coach Gilreath are kind of... Yeah, about opposites. Yeah, there. about the opposites. Hackleman with the ball. Going to look, juggles it. Loses control, tipped away. Kicks back out to Shepard. Back over to Hackleman. Hackleman looks inside to Perkins. Nothing doing there. All the way around to Horn. Well, they're being physical with Hackleman. Yep. When she cuts, it's corner. Hackleman looking to drive. Nothing doing there. They close out on shooters extremely well. They are not letting her sniff the basket. She makes her first three, and they call timeout. Nice spin move by Olivia Horn, and she's going to go to the line for two free throws. We are getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, we are. We, we just got to finish, and then we got to hit our free throws. Olivia was two for two last time. Olivia Horn will go to the line, try to cut into this Raider lead. Olivia First one is going to be up and good. Yeah. Check in for the number 23, Couture. Couture will come back. I think that's our starting lineup out there. See if we can make just a little bit of a run here. We're down 10. Maybe we can get that to 8 or 6 before halftime. 
Olivia Horn's second one is going to be up and good. Cuts it to nine. 2.22 left in the second quarter. Hackleman's got to be smart out there with two fouls. That's true. Okay, Northridge basketball. Right wing, oh. quickly drive wide. Oh, Horn comes out of nowhere and blocks it. Oh, and she's on the line. Whoa, I didn't nice even see. Shot. I thought I was kind of giving up on that play. Uh-huh. I thought the layup was wide open. And I thought it was Hackleman doing that and would it would have been a taking a chance with nice job by Olivia. Northridge basketball. That'll be inbounded to Goodwin. Hands it off. Watch the back door. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a nice little push down play. That's off. 24 is going to shoot that. That's going to be no good. And Horn is, oh, she got fouled. She did get fouled, too. Good call by the official there. And that will send Olivia to the line for two free throws. Yep, that's her fifth foul. So it'll be last minute 55. Every foul will be two shots. I'll tell you what, the Warriors are competing. That's for sure. Uh, there were some that thought, this was going to be an absolute blowout tonight, but the Warriors are showing they can compete. Yep, and they are doing that. Olivia up and good. Yeah. Got the bounce there. We'll take it. Five in a row for Olivia Horn. She's got seven points. I'm not sure Olivia has come out of the game much here, but we need her in the game. Olivia Horn's second one is up and good. That cuts it to seven. One more stop here would be very nice. Miller with the basketball, crossing the timeline. Kicks it over to Goodwin. Inside, high post, Gates. Gates looking to drive on Shepard. Almost pushed off there. Inside, kicks it back out. Nearly stolen by Ava. It's going to be blocked by by Hackleman. Now Northridge got to be careful. They don't foul and give us free throws here. It's going to be Coltura on the left wing. Going to be reversed over. In, looking inside, nothing doing. Horn posting up. Flare screen for Ava. Ava's going to look for Shepard to come get it. Nope. It's going to be Lucy up top. There's a flare screen. Ava's going to shoot the Hit three. It. Yes. Got it. Big shot. Here we go. I'm not sure how many straight that is, but I think it's a 7 nothing run. We are down 11. Now we are down four with under a minute to go inside the gates, and she's going to kick it out, and that's going to be inside drive. It's going to be nothing nice. doing there. Very nice. nice assist there by Mohammed makes that basket. Very good basketball there. 40 seconds left. Wallace down six, still manageable, and that's going to be Hackleman looking to shoot that basketball. It's going to be up and oh. no good. Rebounded by Northridge. Quickly up the floor, and that's going to be inside. It's going to be kicked back out. Wide there open three by Miller. Miller is going to be up, up. and no good. Oh. Uh, stolen away from Couture, and it's going to be that up and hurt. good by Mohammed. Inbounds. That's four quick points by Northridge. Again, they got to be Eight careful. Seconds, they don't foul. Eight seven. seconds. All the way. Nice. It's going to be a foul. Nice. Takes it straight to the basket. It'd be nice to get two of these back. We're down yep. eight right now. Good substitution by uh, Coach Gilreath here. I'm certain that Molly Beer is coming in for um, a hack- Hackleman. Hackleman, so she doesn't pick up her fourth foul. Shepard at the line, down eight. First one is up and good. Go. Beer. Yeah, oh, Horn's going to get 3.7 seconds of rest here. Man, be careful. Northridge gets the ball up the floor so fast. They got time. Only thing, maybe save one of those subs for, for to stop the clock or stop the fast Shut break. Okay, Northridge, 3.7. Baseball oh. pass is going to go. It is going to be complete underneath. Oh. No good. Rebounded by Stuckey. All right, your Wallace C. Warriors down six to the 13th ranked Northridge Raiders. We'll be right back with more Lady Warrior basketball on CPG TV and the IHSA Champions Network. 
Hi, this is Vince Beasley. Wallace Sea Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Northern Lakes Realty. We are a full-service realty company helping you buy and sell homes, as well as assisting you in any other real estate needs. Northern Lakes Realty has a hometown realty team ready to serve you. We are located across from Pickwick Theater in Uptown Syracuse, 574-457-2880 or online at nlrealtyllc.com. Wallacey Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Wallace Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling in Syracuse. They can help the residential or commercial customer with in-floor heat system, high-efficiency tankless water heaters, and well and septic services. Wallace Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling in Syracuse, 574-457-9313, and online at wallacephc.com. Wallace C. Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Northern Lakes Insurance in Syracuse. Offering a wide variety of consumer and business insurance with group health plans. Northern Lakes Insurance, behind McDonald's at 201 East Palm Drive in Syracuse. 574-457-5931 and online at northernlakesinsurance.com. Wall of Sea Warrior Basketball is powered by Sox Marina. Servicing all the area lakes for over 60 years. Offering Viaggio and Trifecta pontoons or polar craft fishing boats, all powered by Mercury and Tohatsu outboards, and a line of Excel hunting boats powered by Mud Buddy surface drive motors. Sox Marina on Webster and Barbie Lakes or online at SoxMarina.com. OSC Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Chubby's Pub and Grub in Syracuse. Offering a full menu, including daily lunch and dinner specials, with a family room. Chubby's Pub and Grub at 1201 South Huntington Street in Syracuse. 574-457-3855. Wallace Sea Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Beyond Landscaping in Milford. Offering landscaping design services, construction for residential, commercial, and lake properties. That includes stonework, masonry, live wall and water features beyond landscaping at 2983 east bowser road in milford 574-527-7973 and online at beyondlandscaping.com now back to wawa c warrior basketball on cpg tv and the ihsaa champions network Okay, that was quite an exciting half. We're here at the Hardwood TP at Wawasee High School with the score 28-23. to Northridge on top of Wawasee, but the Wawasee Warriors are certainly making this interesting. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that thir- uh, second quarter, we played them even. We were down six after one, played them even. Um, a big key to the game was basically Olivia Horn um, being six for six on free throws. The team was eight for ten. You know, and that's 80 percent, which is about twice what they've been shooting. Plus, Horns also got six rebounds. We out rebounded them 13 to 10, so that's that's a big plus. Because I know Coach Gilreath was worried about our rebounding. Uh, big uh, difference too on the negative sides. We got 12 turn or 11 turnovers, and Northridge only has two. And uh, off our turnovers, they converted those yeah. into. Probably eight or ten points, I'm guessing. Yeah, and if you're a Northridge fan, you you might think we missed a lot of bunnies, you know. And I I think that uh, some of the things that 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 I would say is this is Northern Lakes, uh, Northern Lake NLC basketball, Northern Lakes Conference basketball. It it tends to become a little more difficult uh, to maneuver, you know, when you're in conference. You know, you're obviously it's it's an away game for Northridge. A home game for Wawa C, and uh, I think we're competing at a pretty high level right now, as good as I've seen the Wawa C Warriors play this year. Yeah, I mean, I think this is overall for the competition we're playing, probably our best half of basketball, and uh, it's going to have to continue. It's it's more physical than what we've seen, and that again, that's NLC basketball, conference basketball, and and we responded extremely well. Uh, Honestly, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised yeah. uh, the way we've handled things up to this point. And, you know, we can uh, convert a few of our 
shots underneath yeah. and we cut down our turnovers a little bit, we're going to be right in this game to the end. Yeah, uh, you know, you look at Wawasee with 11 turnovers. Northridge, was uh, Coach Springer was a little concerned about uh, his team turning the ball. or They've taken care of the basketball, and you know it's a good thing they have because they, they might find themselves with a deficit at halftime, if they if the, those turnovers would be switched just a little bit, we had some careless, unforced turnovers. Um, but the things that we've been doing well, it looks as if we're executing on the offensive end, and that, that that includes the press breaker. We're seeming to break the press just fine, and then against the man-to-man, we're, we have a good movement. You know, against the man-to-man, Hackleman's knocked down a couple threes. Horn's gotten the ball to the basket. And even, I think, Couture and Wilkinson missed wide-open bunnies there where we right. really could have cut into the to the six-point lead. So it could make for a very interesting uh, second half of basketball. Well, i am be interesting to see if Coach Gilry kind of backs off on the press a little bit because they've scored off the press. We've only forced two turnovers. Yeah. Uh, if we back it off a little bit, make them set it up, um, and take away the easy shots and uh, still put pressure on the ball, yeah. least, but maybe not full court. That's what I was going to say. Even if you did, you can pressure the ball, but when you start double teaming or trapping, you're leaving other players open. Clearly, each team has five players on the floor, and if you take and double team one player, that means somebody's open. Northridge is doing a great job of finding the open person. And what I've been most impressed with with Northridge is their interior passing. Correct. You talked about at one point even uh, them being almost too selfish in terms of passing on the interior, but they run a couple nice sets. Uh, They're very unselfish around the basket to get wide open bunnies, and they've actually missed a few down there. Right. Well, they, like I said at the beginning of the game, all their players, they can handle the ball. They have their head up. They see the open person. They move without the ball extremely well and uh and they burn us on quite a few they've only hit what one three-pointer maybe say, yeah. they haven't hit much of them outside so oh. if we can pack it in a little more keep them in front of us uh let's see what happens yeah and i was going to say too we don't have the official stats but i'll bet you they're one for six one for seven from three-point range again uh a couple of those have been wide open by really good shooters and so we've kind of dodged some bullets to stay within six points but there is no question that that we're playing hard on the defensive end and we're attacking um, on the offensive end i think it's clear to me that we certainly are not afraid of any team that's going to be on our schedule no and i agree and um most coaches are saying it, and i'm sure both of them are saying it in the dressing room right now first three minutes of the second yeah. half are going to be key we're down six can we close that gap a little bit and Northridge, they're talking about we're up six. Can we widen that a little bit? Yep. And whoever comes out on top of that is uh, is going to have a leg up on this second half. Well, let's uh, let's go to commercial break here. We'll be back with more Lady Warrior basketball on CPG TV and IHSA Champions Network. Wawasee Warrior basketball is brought to you in part by Blue Barn Berry Farm and event venue in Syracuse. Offering an indoor-outdoor lakeside pavilion for up to 220 guests. In season, blueberry and blackberry fields and country market for fresh local produce, pantry items, and sweet treats. Their newest venue, Farmhouse, is a great spot for private events for up to 70 guests and is a full-time catering provider all across northern Indiana. Blue Barn Berry Farm and Event Venue at 9139 North 300 East in Syracuse, 574-742-2247 and online at bluebarnberryfarm.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Quality Engineered Services in Syracuse. Manufacturing-assemblies and wiring harnesses primarily supporting OEM boat manufacturers and other products including marine, bus, automotive, and more since 2017. Quality Engineer Services at 1101 North Indiana Avenue in Syracuse, 574-457-3988 and online at theqes.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Brook Point Resort in Syracuse, offering a family escape getaway, featuring a family suite which sleeps up to seven people, indoor heated saltwater pool, outdoor family cove activities, board games, pizza and pop for the first night. Brook Point Resort, just west of Burger King on Bowser Road in Syracuse, 574-457-4466 and online at brookpointresort.com. 
Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Maverick Promotions in North Webster, offering name brand wearables including hats, t-shirts, polos, jackets, custom embroidery, screen printing, and promotional products since 2002. Maverick Promotions at 611 South Main Street in North Webster, 574-834-4733, and online at maverickpromos.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by K&B Detailing in Syracuse, offering complete interior, exterior, and ceramic detailing services for cars and trucks. K&B Detailing at 4381 McGill Court in Syracuse, 574-265-7278, and on Facebook. Now back to Wawa C Warrior Basketball on CPG TV and the IHSAA Champions Network. We are getting ready here to start the second half of basketball where Northridge leads Wawa C 29 to 23. Northridge will have the ball. That's going to be inbounded to Goodwin on the left wing over to Miller. Looking inside, looks like a set play is going to go inside and tipped away, nearly stolen by Wallace C. He's going to be kicked out, three-pointer up, and it's going to be Ooh. good by Goodwin. Big shot. Broken play, too, yep. and they kick it out for three. This is an interesting little press here, a 2-1-2, kind of a compact 2-1-2. Just trying to slow us down a little bit. Yep, and... Shepard with the basketball is going to get it out of there. You actually see the boys run that on the on the yeah. boys basketball side. Kicked out Shepard. It's going to be nearly pulls that. That's okay. Working it around. They're staying Inside. in a two-three. It looks like Horn with the lefty hook is going to be no good, and that's going to be rebounded by Cross. Cross is going to dribble all the way into the lane. Kicks it around. Good ball movement there. A layup is going to nice. be up and good by Gates. It's a full court press. Again, inbounded to Lucy. 4-0 run quickly in the maybe 6. It's 5-0. 5-0 run by Northridge coming out of the the half there. Hackleman's going to kick it in to kick it out to Shepard. Shepard's got the ball on the left wing. I can't talk and right. think at the same time. I'm trying <laughs> to watch the game. I'm supposed to be telling everybody what's going on. Lucy's got the ball. Kicks it over to Shepard. Well, Northridge she back in man-to-man. Good call by the yep. official there. Clearly something bothered Hackleman. I think she was getting grabbed. They're being really physical with her. Yes, they are. She's just going to have to stay calm, keep moving. There's three referees out there. It wasn't that long ago. There were only two. There's three. They can see the whole floor there. Good Olivia drive. is going to go nice. in. Good bucket by Olivia Big Horn. Big shot. Olivia Horn scores her 10th point of the basket, of the game. Northridge with the basketball. Up top is going to be Miller. Both oh. teams have their starters out to begin this. Gates' left-handed dribble is going to go a European pass good over kick. to Mohammed. It's going to be up and good. Mohammed, shooting guard, 5'6", junior. Now they're starting to hit their outside yep. shots. Here we go on the make with their trap again, or 2-1-2 yep. press. Looks like they're doing that on makes. Yep. Good cut. Inside nice. to Shepard. Very good left-handed layup there. Nice slicing cut by Shepard. Quickly up the floor. It's going to be turned Lucy. over. Lucy's got the ball. We're going to try to push it now. Lucy's going to bring it up the floor, cross the timeline. She'll look to drive. Hand off to Horn. Horn's going to drive spin. in. Spin move nice. up and oh. no good. Good move. Attacking the basket. Gates has got the ball quickly up the floor. Another is going to get the ball. She's going to go one on two. She's going to pull it up. Now drive to the basket. Spin move is up and no oh, good. Good Just move. The left. Hackleman with the steal. He's going to be up and good. Eight point lead by Northridge. Northridge is getting bit by the turnover bug here a little bit. Yeah, they got three turnovers already and only had two. Long three for Just Miller. Off the mark, and we rebounded oh, an offensive by. Offensive rebound. By Northridge, two rebounded again, and it's going to be up and good. That is going to be basket by Cross. 
In, trying to get the ball inbounds, going to go up to Horn. Horn's going to dribble it off. Northridge is flushed oh, out line. of bounds. Yep, still our ball. Well, we see down 10. Let's see if we can weather the storm a little bit. You right. know, Northridge comes out, hits shots. They look like they're clicking on all cylinders, but it's not like they're up by 20. It, if we weather the storm, maybe we can put together a little run of our own. Well, here's a nice little break with some subs and so forth. We're kind of huffing and puffing. Yep, I noticed that too. Hackowin's looking to inbound the, the ball. ball. Come to the ball. Turned over right to Gates, and Gates is going to go up and lay it in the basket. Big turn right there. Inbound to Shepard. Shepard's going to go up the middle of the floor with her left hand. Spins around. She's going to get a set up here. Ava looking to drive. Ball screen. They are jumping patient. the ball screens. Boy, Northridge just handles nice. that two passes up the floor it's gonna be a nice wide open play. layup and that's gonna be a timeout while we we'll see a full timeout we'll be right back with more lady warrior basketball on cpg tv and ihsa champions Net- while we'll see warrior basketball is brought to you in part by k and b detailing in syracuse offering complete interior exterior and ceramic detailing services for cars well, we'll see Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Collective Media Production Company, LLC, in Etna Green. Offering live streaming, video recording, corporate, business, and non-for-profit promotional videos, and custom editing. They can also take pictures, negatives, slides, Polaroids, 8mm film, and VHS tapes and convert it to a digital format. Collective Media Production Company, LLC, on the web at cmpcollc.com or 574 22 Wallace the Warrior Basketball on 93.7 FM The Mix and CPG TV is brought to you in part by Scott Gingrich with the Gingrich Group Realty in Milford. We are a full service realty company, including property management services in Kosciuszko and surrounding counties. Our goal is to be a trusted advisor for you before, during, and after. Now back to Wawasee Warrior Basketball on CPG TV and the IHSAA Champions Network. Back in action here, Wawasee with the basketball. Molly Beer is getting trapped quickly out of the good job by Molly. We're Taking talking it. about the first three minutes. Uh, really ended up four minutes. Northridge outscored us 14 to 6 to build on their six point lead, get it up to 14. Well, Northridge has definitely picked up the defensive pressure. You can see we're just having trouble doing just about anything. Molly Beer is going to look to drive, and she's going to kick it out of bounds there. And I like the attack. Again, we, we are getting the ball to the basket, just not quite finishing plays. We got caught in the corner there and got double teamed. Had to make a tough play and couldn't do it. Northridge with the basketball. It's going to be kicked up top to Miller. Miller's going to drive with her left hand. Hands it off to the freshman, Scholl. Scholl all the way over. Goodwin with the basketball. Looks into Gates. Gates top of the key, one-on-one. Going to kick it out. That's going to be Scholl. It's going to be no good. Rebounded. Looks like it's going to remain Northridge basketball. Gates is going to get a break. Into the game will be Taylor Ball, 5'11". Junior and Cross will come into the game. Hi, right, they're just so deep. They just keep coming at you. Yeah, if they got they're they're eight nine deep. With Out of bounds play is going to be up and no good. That looks like Cross is going to get there. Get him off. I there think you yeah, go. I think that was a foul there. They do a good job of pursuing the basketball. They do. They get their hands in there. That was a foul, but there's like uh, four sets of ha- uh, two sets of hands in there. Uh, up the floor is going to be Lucy. Good job by Beer. It's going to be kicked up to Lucy. Lucy's going to try to dish it off. It's going to be stolen by Northridge. This is Scholl. Dribble down. One pass. And, and good. Easy layup. Yikes. We got to watch that girl play for four years. Yeah. She's good. Well, that was, is she, that's, she's that not was, left-handed. Is that she? was ball, wasn't it? 34. 40, yeah, she scored, but 42. Oh, the freshman yeah. dribbled up with her left hand all the way up the floor. Inbound to Wilkinson. She's going to look to break the press. 
Yeah, their press is up. bothering us now. Yeah, it is. There you go. And they're going to get in the got, middle. Get it up there. Kick. Kick it over to Horn. Horn's going to drive in. Pass it over to Beer. Beer looking to get the ball inside. She's going to drive on the baseline. Kicks it back out. And let's get it reset here. Yeah. I'm getting a little rattled here. We are. Their pressure is definitely affecting us. We look like we're moving just a little slower than we were at the beginning of the game. It's going to be Horn up top. She's going to look to drive with her left hand. Off to Molly Beer. Molly's going to send it over to Hackleman. Inside to Horn. Horn's going to drive it in. Kicks it out to Lucy. Lucy's got to knock one down there. There you go. Right away, Lucy. It's a simple inside out there. Good pass by Horn. Lucy knocks a shot down. 32 45 inside right is going to be the, taken right to the basket. Yep. That's her freshman, Scholl. That'll be her, her sixth point of the basket. Molly Beer is going to go up and no oh. good at the other end. Scholl's going to quickly get it up the floor to the Another sophomore. Layup. layup there by 32, Cam Conley. That is a freshman to a sophomore. Oop, that there was a foul go. too. I like that sophomore too, Cam Conley. She she plays aggressive. She's got yep. called for two fouls here in the third. 49 32, 105 left in the third quarter. And here comes three more off the bench. I got starters in again. Except for 42, Shaw is in. Well, we'll see. We'll look to inbounds the Uh-oh. pass. It's going to be out of bounds. Out of bounds. Turnover by Wawa. See how many is that for? Well, that's five this quarter. I think Northridge is kind of flexing their muscles here in the third quarter. Yep. I, they're not doing anything special, but they're playing very solid. Up top will be Sabrina Miller. Uh, nearly a foul by Hackleman. That's almost mm. a steal by Horn. It'll remain Northridge basketball. Under a minute to go in the third quarter here. 49-32. Miller up top. On the left side there. I'm sure they're setting up a set here. It's going to come in. They're going to kick it down to Gates underneath. That's a travel. Yep. Yeah, they're not going to miss that one. Turnover Four. Northridge. They got four turnovers here. Gibson is going to come in and give Olivia Horn a bit of a breather. She's played a very nice game tonight. She has Olivia done has. real well. I was just getting ready to say she's one that never got uh, another turnover. Turnover by Wallace C. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to stay Northridge basketball. I think that's the right call. They, I, we tipped out. Inbound by Northridge. It's going to be up top. That's going to go to Miller. Miller over to Cross. Looking oh, back to Miller here. Drives it in. Kicks it out. Scholl is going to drive in. Kick it out to Miller for three. He's going to be off the mark. Rebounded nice. by. It's going to oh, be a jump ball. Yeah, jump I, ball. I think actually one official might have had a foul. The other with jump ball. That's going to yep. be Wawa C basketball. We're really having trouble breaking the press now. Yes, we are. They got three down here against our two. Stokey gets it inbounds. Off to Shepard. Shepard takes it up against Miller. Drives with her right hand. And that's going to be Gibson for three. And she's going up and shot. good. That's what she does. Good shot. Four seconds there. Northridge is going to have a trouble getting it off the shot. They're going to throw it up. It's going to be no good. good. Job. And that'll be 49-35 as the Raiders extend their lead here in the third quarter. But we'll be right back with more Lady Warrior basketball. CPG TV and the IHSA Champions Network. Wawasi Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Air Good Electric and Ligonier, offering electrical services for any project, including in-home, outdoor, new construction, or remodel. Air Good Electric at 1246 Lincoln Way South in Ligonier, 260-894-3850. 
1-800-242-1642. Wallace C. Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Dynamic Spine and Rehab Center, 106 East Pickwick Drive in Syracuse, offering chiropractic, acupuncture, and rehab services that will get you back into the game. Dynamic Spine and Rehab Center, east of Dairy Queen in Syracuse. 574-457-7472 and online at dynamicspinesyracuse.com. Now back to Wawa C Warrior Basketball on CPG TV and the IHSAA Champions Network. Welcome back to the Hardwood TV. We're just getting ready for the fourth quarter. Northridge kind of exploded there in the third quarter uh, and kind of showed why they are the 13th ranked team in the state. Yeah, they outscored us 20 to 12 to go from a six point halftime lead to 14. Um, big quarter here for Wallace C. See if we can cut into the lead and uh, make, make them worry a little bit. See if we can't get back in this. Again, first two, three minutes of this quarter are going to be huge. Northridge with the basketball. That'll be their point guard, Goodwin, up top. Ball screen, looking for the roll from Gates there. Baseline drive, nothing doing there. Going to kick back out. Up top will be Mohammed. Here comes another ball screen by Gates. Quickly back around. They're being patient. Yep. In. There's a cutter. Very, oh, oh, we got a block nice. by... Couture is going to be blocked. It's going to be a oh, foul, foul there, a reaching foul. That'll be the first foul of this quarter, which it matters. While we'll see with the basketball. That was a great block by Ava Couture. Yep, a big play. Stop them on their first possession. Now let's see if we can score. There we go. Look, look. That was a release pass, a little home run pass. It's going to be Shepard. going to drive it in, kick it out. It's going to be oh, short, short there. Uh, short shot by Gibson. Quickly up the floor. And it's going to be Muhammad right hand left. She misses it. Rebound by Cross. Kicks it back out to Gage. She's going to have an open layup there. She misses, she misses. that one. And Northridge it's going to stay ball. Northridge ball. Well, they, they really are just uh, relentless on some things. They I thought they came out at halftime. I thought they were very poised. You know, the coach wasn't screaming and yelling or anything like that. They were very poised, and that's a sign of a good basketball team as yeah. well. Yeah, they're, they're very confident in what they do. Inside, good, uh, Gates is going to kick it back over to Goodwin. Miller all the way over to Muhammad for three, and she's going to put yeah. it in. She's got a very nice stroke. Yeah. That's like three for three on threes where they struggled the first half. Yep. Oh, uh -oh. you got to see it. Uh, out turnover. of bounds, turnover wall with C. We'll go back to Northridge. One thing, we can't run down the floor with our back to the ball. we got to have our eyes on the ball the whole time. Balance scoring by Northridge, 12, 10, 8, 6. And they have possession of the basketball. Looking over, two-guard front, all the way around. It's going to be Gates on the inside, driving in. Oh. Misses the layup, rebounded by Gibson. And we got some subs coming in. Shepard with the ball. Off the ball screen there. Oh, look for it. Yep, almost is inside there. Stuckey on the inside is going to. She's in no man's land. Yep. Jump ball is going to be Northridge basketball. Horn Jump. and Wilkinson will come back in. Okay, we got our starters back in. We're going to make a run here. Uh, see if we can make a run. Close the gap a little bit. Northridge with the basketball up the floor. That is going to be Goodwin. Kicks it back out to Miller. Reverses it. Mohammed over to Cross. Oh, little Mangus uh, cut. Going to cut in. Turns the ball over. That's their fifth of the, the, the half here. Wilkinson with the ball over to Horn. Horn's going to dribble up top, hand it off to Hackelman. Inside to Horn. He's going to get stripped away. They're going to call a foul there. They've done a real good job on Hackelman this half. I don't yeah. think she's even got a shot off that I remember. No, no shot attempts. And, and if you recall back into the first quarter, Hackelman hits an open three, and they call a timeout immediately. Clearly, their, their scouting report was, we are not going to let her beat us. We're exactly. not going to give her anything 
open. And when she got one open, he called timeout. Right. Inside is going to be Ava Couture is going to be up and uh, no good. Rebounded by Northridge. Miller bringing the ball up against Hackleman, providing some pressure here. Hackleman is going to be, or excuse me, Miller off all the way around, quickly reversing the ball. Play called there by Coach Springer. Mohammed up for three. He's got a very nice stroke. Yep. Whoopsie. Shooting guard Ella Mohammed. That's her third three of the game. She's got 13 points. I think they're all this half. Yep. Yep. All the threes. Very nice stroke from her. Hackleman's going to get an open three. She's going to look up, and it's going to be just off the mark. Fighting for the rebound quickly up the floor is going to be Gates. Wide yep. open layup. She runs the floor extremely well. Inbounded to Lucy Wilkinson. Keeping the pressure on. 445 left in the game. Lucy's going to go in for a nice. left-hand layup. Up and good. I tell you, we, we have attacked the basket well tonight. Yep. Um, again, I think just a lot of positives as uh, we probably are not going to come back from the 20-point deficit here in the fourth quarter, but but I think a lot of uh, 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 really positive things going on here in this basketball game for the Wallace Warriors. Yeah, I think when they watch the film, they're going to see some good things that they did. Lucy at the line will shoot it and be up and no good. Lucy's got five points on the night, stolen nice by deal. Hackleman. And Hackleman's going to go straight to the basket there. She's going to get fouled. Foul. That's four fouls on Northridge. I know Northridge is up 20, and, and uh, it's maddening as a coach, too. He, uh, coach Springer talked about the turnover issues that he've had, he's had. Northridge, on a couple possessions, just thrown it to nobody. Right. Well, actually, they threw it right to us. Inbound is going to be Lucy up top. She's going to look to drive. Hand off to Shepard. Back to Lucy. Lucy's going to look to oh, take the shot. Gonna it's going to block. be blocked. It's going to remain Wawa C basketball. Hackleman will inbound the ball. 424 left in the fourth quarter. Into uh, Couture is going to be off the mark. Uh, quickly up the floor is going to be passed nice. off. Oh, nice pass. Just couldn't handle it. I'm starting to think they practice that uh, transition basketball. I would think. I mean, they run wide, too. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's very difficult to get players to run wide and then come in at these angles, and it's easy to bounce past feed for layups. They do an amazing job at that. And and they all do it. It's not the same person. That's right. Uh, Lucy got, uh, she's all right. The fight for a basketball is going to be recovered by, well, was that a jump ball? Yeah, it was a jump okay. ball. Jump ball Three is going to be possession. Wallace C basketball. Oh. Well, good hustle. Good hustle by yep. Olivia Horn there as Northridge will get possession. of. They, they don't foul. They move her feet. Hands are always moving. Get out. Nice spin move there. It's oh. going to be off the mark. She kind of wanted the foul there. Uh, Shepard inside is going nice. to be nice. She gets a rebound, goes full court. I'll tell you what, uh, Kaden Shepard is a 5'3 senior, uh, and she plays hard. Northridge driving nice kick. That's going to be Shoal from the outside. It's off the mark, and it's going to be oh. Oh, maybe out of bounds on Northridge, but not quite. Shoal again in the inside is going to be good. Great pass yep. there by Goodwin. Shepard quickly up the floor. She's going to go right to the basket, I bet. And she's going to yeah, score, score again. again. Boy, but, Northridge, the other thing, too, just wears you down, how much energy it takes to, to play at this pace. You see Wallace, he's going to check in a few more players here. 3.06 left in the game. Um, Horn's going to be guarding uh, Cross there. Kicks it around to Miller. On the left wing inside Another the gates. That's going to be Whoa. nearly a travel. And they actually got away with a the travel there. Kicks it back out. Offensive rebound by Scholl. Northridge probably going to be patient a little bit. They're going to go ahead and ice, try to isolate Shepard there. And that's going to be a jump, another jump ball. That'll be Northridge basketball. 
Uh, I spend so much time watching. I probably should be talking a little bit more, but I get a kick out of the coaches, and they're going to coach right to the end. It doesn't matter what the score is. Both coaches uh, are demanding that their teams execute right to the end. Northridge basketball underneath their own basket is going to kick it out. It's going to come around, uh, driving into the lane. It's going to be number 14 up and good. That's going to be Riley Goodwin, 5'5 junior, nearly stolen by Northridge. Going to kick to the middle. Perkins has got the ball. He's going to dribble down the floor. Nicely done. Gibson's going to look for three. Nothing doing there. Stuckey's got the ball up top to Shepard. Right wing, Molly Beard now in the game. He's going to pass it, look, look, pivot, going to look to pass. And she's going to take a, uh, Coach Gilry going to take a timeout, be a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here in the fourth quarter, 2.04 to play here. Um, I'll tell you what, I think the, the Warriors are playing their hearts out here. we got some subs coming in. We look a little gassed. Yeah, um, I just noticed that uh, Northridge is getting uh, some people off their bench. I saw Reed Secker. Uh, she's checking in. She played probably three quarters of JV and uh, I'm not sure who else but I know they got a lot of their starters out while we'll see just brought three people in it'll be a 30 second timeout by wall we'll see 61 41 204 left to play it'll be wall we'll see basketball Gibson will inbound the basketball Perkins gets the ball, top of the key. Both teams kind of subbing a little bit here as we see Shepard's in. She's a starter. That's the only starter we have in. Molly Beer with the basketball. Takes a look and gives it to Perkins on the wing. Perkins going to dribble to the top of the key. Crossover, and that's going to be a five-second call. Guarded by number four, Macy Reed Secker, 5'2", sophomore. Here comes number 30, Kendall Jones. She's a senior, 5'8", or 5'6". A minute 37, well, that's going to be out of bounds. Turnover by Northridge. Into the game. So maybe you can help. You, JV coach, for many, many years. How many quarters do these girls get a night? Yeah, they get five a night. They play three on JV. They got two on varsity. If they play four on JV, they still have one on varsity. Wow. Three, three pointer by Gibson. Good arch on the ball there. Looks like too much arch until yeah. it goes through. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Gibson hits her second three of the game. She's got six here. Northridge with the basketball. That's Shoal. Kicks it off there to Conley. Left handed dribble by uh, number 30, Kendall Jones. She's a 5'6 senior. Inside is going to oh, be easily Scholl. Scholl's going to score 10 points tonight off the bench. 55 seconds to go. And it'll be Molly Beer on the right wing. Running the offense here. Out of bounds will be Northridge basketball. 46 seconds to go. Checking into the game for Northridge will be number 44. We don't have her name. Sorry to her nope. family that might be at home watching the game. Can we guess? I don't know. Sometimes they have JV and... Uh, Jenea Lee? It, it could be if it's the same number as yeah, JV. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Either way, we don't know who she is. She's going to drive to the basket. and Oh, just missed a layup there. Northridge is going to regain control. If she would have made that, we would have found out her name. <laughs> That's right. So this is Reed Secker. Good kick. Get another chance to get her name on the board. It's not going to do... Not going to go down there. 19 seconds to, to play. Northridge might just kind of yeah. pull it out here. You might guess. You do. You would like these younger players to get a possession here. I don't mind them seeing them run an offense. It looks like they are going to pull it out. And we probably don't want to foul. Nope. Two seconds, one second, and that will be the ball game. All right, we'll give you some final thoughts here on the game. We've got two breaks left. We'll be right back with more Lady Warrior basketball on CPG TV and the IHSA Champions Network. Wawasee Warrior basketball is brought to you in part by Goshen Home Medical, offering CPAPs, respiratory supplies, and a full line of medical equipment with delivery for over 40 years. 
Goshen Home Medical at 1501 South Main Street in Goshen, 574-533-0626 and online at goshenhomemedical.com. Hi, this is Vince Beasley. Wallace Sea Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Northern Lakes Realty. We are a full-service realty company helping you buy and sell homes, as well as assisting you in any other real estate needs. Northern Lakes Realty has a hometown realty team ready to serve you. We are located across from Pickwick Theater in Uptown Syracuse, 574-457-2880 or online at nlrealtyllc.com. Wallace Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Wallace Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling in Syracuse. They can help the residential or commercial customer with in-floor heat system, high-efficiency tankless water heaters, and well and septic services. Wallace Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling in Syracuse, 574-457-9313, and online at wallacephc.com. Wallace Sea Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Northern Lakes Insurance in Syracuse. Offering a wide variety of consumer and business insurance with group health plans. Northern Lakes Insurance, behind McDonald's at 201 East Palm Drive in Syracuse. 574-457-5931 and online at northernlakesinsurance.com. Wallace Sea Warrior Basketball is powered by Sox Marina, servicing all the area lakes for over 60 years, offering Viaggio and Trifecta pontoons or polar craft fishing boats, all powered by Mercury and Tohatsu outboards, and a line of Excel hunting boats powered by Mud Buddy surface drive motors. Sox Marina on Webster and Barbie Lakes or online at SoxMarina.com. OSC Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Chubby's Pub and Grub in Syracuse, offering a full menu including daily lunch and dinner specials with a family room. Chubby's Pub and Grub at 1201 South Huntington Street in Syracuse, 574-457-3855. Wallace Sea Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Beyond Landscaping in Milford, offering landscaping design services, construction for residential, commercial and lake properties. That includes stonework, masonry, live wall, and water features. Beyond Landscaping at 2983 East Bowser Road in Milford. 574-527-7973 and online at beyondlandscaping.com. Wawasi Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Blue Barnberry Farm and Event Venue in Syracuse. Offering an indoor-outdoor lakeside pavilion for up to 220 guests. In season, blueberry and blackberry fields, and country market for fresh local produce, pantry items, and sweet treats. Their newest venue, Farmhouse, is a great spot for private events for up to 70 guests and is a full-time catering provider all across northern Indiana. Blue Barn Berry Farm and Event Venue at 9139 North 300 East in Syracuse, 574-742-2247, and online at bluebarnberryfarm.com. Now back to Wawa Sea Warrior Basketball on CPG TV and the IHSAA Champions Network. Lady Warriors drop one tonight, 63 to 44 here at the Hardwood TP. A uh, tough fought loss. I thought the Wawa Sea Warriors uh, played hard tonight. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I mean, down six at halftime. Uh, so we're right in the ball game. We talked about the first three, four minutes. Uh, Northridge came out second half, first four minutes, and, you know, outscored us like 14 to 6 to get up in double-digit uh, lead. And, you know, we out-rebounded them 13 to 10 in the first half. Yeah. Second half, Northridge really showed their physical strength and aggressiveness. They outscored us 14 to 5. The second half on rebounds uh, and out uh, rebounders 24 to 18 for the game. Um, we had 11 turnovers in each half. Um, you don't want to be that consistent. Uh, 22 yeah. is too many against a team like Northridge. Uh, Northridge did turn it over eight times the second half. And uh, one interesting thing too, if there's only one free throw shot the whole yeah. second half, and that was by us. We shot one. Northridge didn't shoot any. 
Uh, we did end up 8 for 11 on free throws, so a big improvement there. But, uh, you know, I think the Lady Warriors uh, can watch film on this, and uh, they can see some positive. Yes, we got beat by 19 points. We were only down 6 at half. Um, I, I do think we kind of ran out of gas yeah. a little bit second half. Uh, Northridge has a lot to do with that. They run eight girls in and out without, you know, missing a beat, keep the aggressiveness up, and uh, we, we just gave up way too many easy shots. Yeah. And uh, plus, Northridge, the second half, hit the threes, and uh, they didn't, uh, you know, hit any. They maybe one the first half at yeah. the most, but hit three or four of them the second half. They did a great job the second half on Hackleman. Um, I don't keep track of shots, but I don't remember her getting a shot off in the second half. And, no, uh, late in the second half, she shot a yeah. three, I believe. Maybe yeah. one shot in yeah. the second half. Yeah, that's right. And, then, and you know, teams are going to do that, and the others are going to have to step up, you know, and take the pressure off of her and, uh, you know, knock some shots down. Yep, I would agree with with that. I thought I thought we played hard. I thought we played competitive. I thought one of the factors uh, that that was a big role, and you mentioned this too, was uh, their depth. You know, their bench play uh, probably was superior to our bench play. When when our starters went out of the game, uh, their 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 bench players that were coming in, they just seemed to bring a new wave of, of players in. And one of the bench players that I thought played a really nice game tonight, a floor game, was the freshman. Uh, Lily Scholl, I think she had 10 points, probably six or seven rebounds, and it just goes to show uh, how how good and deep you have to be if you want to play this many possessions. 63 points, I don't know what their points per possession was, but probably uh, probably 60 to 70 possessions in the game. Um, if you want to play that many possessions, you got to have good uh, uh, good play off the bench. And ours wasn't poor, but I just thought Northridge's bench play was a little bit better than ours. Yeah, and the thing is, they're interchangeable. I mean, yeah. uh, you get a guard in trouble, he can put any of the three in and still run their offense because they all can handle the ball. You know, yes, yeah, some better than others, some are better shooter than others. But they're all interchangeable. Uh, and the other thing is, I, I don't know exactly how many fouls they had, but I didn't see anybody on the board up there that had more than two fouls yeah. for Northridge. And as aggressive as they play and so forth, again, that's part of NLC basketball. But uh, when you can play really aggressive and stay out of foul trouble, you know, that that's a big plus for a team. I thought one of the highlights for Wallace C was the play of Olivia Horn. Uh, oh. She played like a madman tonight. And uh, it was nice to see her uh, come out and play as aggressive as she did. She knocked down her free throws. She had to lead us in rebounding and uh, played a whale of a game. Right. I mean, she and then uh, second half, I thought Shepard did a good job also. She took it from end to end a couple times, hit some uh, layups. Yeah. Um, she ended up with five rebounds herself uh, unofficially. But, uh, you know, she's those two, they uh, – they, they did a good job tonight, showed they can play with against pressure yep. and so forth. And uh, and the, other, the others will be fine. This this is a great game for us. We probably need more games in this. Yep. And so let's take a last break here, and then we'll talk to Coach Gilreath. We'll be right back with more Lady Warrior basketball on CPG TV and the IHSA Champions Network. Wallace Warrior basketball is brought to you in part by Quality Engineered Services in Syracuse. Manufacturing dash assemblies and wiring harnesses, primarily supporting OEM boat manufacturers and other products including marine, bus, automotive, and more since 2017. Quality Engineer Services at 1101 North Indiana Avenue in Syracuse, 574-457-3988 and online at theqes.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Brook Point Resort in Syracuse, offering a family escape getaway, featuring a family suite which sleeps up to seven people, indoor heated saltwater pool, outdoor family cove activities, board games, pizza and pop for the first night. Brook Point Resort, just west of Burger King on Bowser Road in Syracuse, 574-457-4466 and online at brookpointresort.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Maverick Promotions in North Webster, offering name brand wearables including hats, t-shirts, polos, jackets, 
custom embroidery, screen printing, and promotional products since 2002. Maverick Promotions at 611 South Main Street in North Webster, 574-834-4733, and online at maverickpromos.com. Wawasee Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by K&B Detailing in Syracuse, offering complete interior, exterior, and ceramic detailing services for cars and trucks. K&B Detailing at 4381 McGill Court in Syracuse, 574-265-7278, and on Facebook. What we'll see Warrior Basketball is brought to you in part by Collective Media Production Company, LLC, in Etna Green. Offering live streaming, video recording, corporate, business, and non-for-profit promotional videos, and custom editing. They can also take pictures, negatives, slides, Polaroids, 8mm film, and VHS tapes and convert it to a digital format. Collective Media Production Company, LLC, on the web at cmpcollc.com or 574 Wall with the Warrior Basketball on 93.7 FM The Mix and CPG TV is brought to you in part by Scott Gingrich with the Gingrich Group Realty in Milford. We are a full service realty company, including property management services in Kosciuszko and surrounding counties. Our goal is to be a trusted advisor for you before, during, and after your transaction. Scott Gingrich with the Gingrich Group, here to help make your home dreams happen. Located downtown Milford at 120 South Main Street or online at thegingrichgroup.com. Now back to Wawasee Warrior Basketball on CPG TV and the IHSAA Champions Network. We're back here with Coach Gilreath. Coach, hard fought uh, loss tonight to clearly a very good basketball team, the 13th ranked Northridge Raiders. Uh, let's talk about some things in the first half that you like from your team. Um, I really liked our intensity on the defensive side. I thought we did a really nice job understanding who shooters were, who we needed to back off a little bit. Um, and they executed the game plan really well. On the offensive side, I liked how we were attacking the basket, not you know settling for all outside shots. We, yeah. we, we handled their pressure pretty well after the first you know two possessions there when, when we figured out what we were, what we were doing. Um, and I, I really like the way we were attacking the rim and working inside out. Yeah, there's generally a direct relationship between the number of free throws you shoot and how aggressive you're playing. And we got to the line, I think, uh, I think Coach Beer said we were uh, eight. We got to the line ten times in the first half, knocking down eight. We've struggled a little bit from the line. So it was nice to see us get to the line, knock down those free throws. We were within six at halftime. And uh, Northridge came out in the third quarter and really flexed their muscles. Yeah, they, you know, that they're the first team we've played that can match us athletically and physically, um, and they kind of turned up their intensity a little bit, and that's where, you know, one thing as a team, we, we need to get better. We started kind of going scramble mode a little bit instead of just relaxing and, you know, doing what we do, setting solid screens. Uh, we started wanting to just get rid of the ball a little bit, whereas if we just – run our offense, set good screens on the press breaker. You know, we're, we can we can compete with them, and we showed that. Now we just need to be a little more mentally poised in yeah. those situations. Yeah, consistent throughout the game, and, and nothing against the, the teams that we played up until this point, but we haven't seen a team like that. And as you get prepared for the rest of the NLC season and even into postseason play, um, you would have to think that games like this are going to better prepare your team for the postseason play. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's good for us, especially, you know, as we continue through conference and even the rest of our non-conference schedule. Every team we play from here on out is is a very solid team. So this is a good learning experience for us, understand how to play when teams can match our athleticism. Um, and we, we've been pretty physical on the year, and I think Northridge was even more physical than we were. Mm -hmm. Um, first half, I thought we did a really nice job rebounding the basketball. In the second half, not as much. We kind of were letting their pressure get to us a little bit um, and settling for just running at the rim instead of getting our good solid blockouts consistently. Yeah. Uh, Northridge did a great job on Hackleman playing very physical with her. Uh, but I thought one player that really matched the physical nature of play out there was Olivia Horn. thought she had a great game on the boards, attacking the basket, knocking down free throws. 
she is certainly showing that uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, that that she belongs in the NLC and, and clearly separating herself as as one of the better players in the NLC. Yeah, absolutely. Um, she like. You know, I keep saying she's kind of our workhorse for us. Yeah. She's one that's not going to back away, you know, from anybody that's physical with her. Um, she's starting to understand how to play within our offense more defensively. You know, she does a really nice job understanding who she can get up on, who she needs to back off a little bit. And then, obviously, her rebounding is always huge for us. For a team that doesn't have size, um, she does a really nice job, you know, giving us a chance in there. Okay, Coach, we got uh, – I got to check my schedule here. You probably know the schedule. We're back at it. Help me out. My phone's at loading At Goshen here. on Friday. At Goshen on Friday. And then uh, things don't get easier, but, uh, uh, you know, we keep these girls together, have them uh, with a positive attitude, and I think uh, we're going to see great things of, of the Lady Warriors as we move throughout the season. Yep, I think so. We had – a lot of positives today and a lot of things we can learn from as we move forward. Okay, thanks for joining us here. We'll be back at it, I think, on December, the next home game. Uh, gosh, I don't so. know. The what? The 16th. Saturday. December the 16th. We'll be back at it here on CPG TV. Thanks for joining the broadcast tonight, and we'll see you next time on CPG TV and the IHSA Champions Network.